Okay, guys, now we're going to talk about cloaking your keyword.us.com domain. Um, now, there are lots of different reasons why you would want to cloak your domain. Uh, the first one is that it protects the method. Um, if you uh, you saw that uh, that example with the cheap NFL jerseys, guys, um, one of them started doing it, and then they all started copying him. And uh, the first guy that did it lost his competitive edge because everybody else saw that it was working. They copied it and now they're ranking too. Uh, that first guy did have a uh, first mover advantage but now everyone's doing it so if you want to protect your key terms from other competitors you need to make sure that you cloak. Um, that's the best way to guarantee that they don't know what you're doing because a lot of them they're gonna see that you're ranking a domain and they're just gonna think you got lucky or that there's some special type of link you got that they don't have and if they realize that all they have to do is buy a, a dot us dot com domain they're going to do it and they're going to rank so the best approach to take to protect yourself uh, from competitors and to protect the method itself is to cloak and it also drives your competitors crazy um, one of, one of my favorite things of doing is not only do I cloak my websites um, but I prevent bots like ahrefs.com and Majestic SEO from crawling it so my sites will rank in the top 10 of uh, either Bing or Google and when somebody looks at the backlinks they don't see any backlinks they might see one or two backlinks from you know uh, a bookmarking site or whatever from Reddit or something and they think that that's what's causing my rankings and they go and they try to duplicate those types of links or maybe they'll think that my domain authority alone is what's causing me to rank but in reality I have you know 50 uh, private blog network posts that are pushing my rankings up like that and it drives a lot of them crazy and it's it's kinda of funny to see them go and try to recreate the links that uh, that you have that are visible and they still don't get any results so I, I just personally find that funny and uh, it's a good way to throw off the competition too and it gives you a better chance to brand um, not like I said you know a lot of people have never really seen a dot us dot com domain in their life and if they go to it they might not fully trust it. Uh, it's hard to trust what you don't know. Um, but if you have an existing domain or a more brandable domain, you know, the, you know, uh, PetToysToGo.com is much better than PetToysOnline.us.com. It provides you a much better chance to brand. And it's something that you can, uh, you have more, more control over your, uh, your messaging, basically. So that's that's another advantage. But the biggest advantage is without doubt it protects the method and it protects you against competitors. If they see that all they have to do is buy a uh, .us.com domain, fire up GSA, they'll do it. I mean, uh, the, who wouldn't, right? Everyone would. So protect yourself against competitors, protect yourself uh protect the method for yourself and go ahead and cloak your domains. Um so how do you cloak your domain? Well, it's very easy. All we're, all we're basically going to do is we're going to take a .us.com domain and we're going to make a 301 redirect over to our branded domain. And what's going to happen is all the authority and trust is going to pass through that 301 redirect and it's going to carry on to our new domain. So our branded domain will rank and our .us.com domain will remain hidden and so what you do for example you register your keyword.us.com domain and you register a branded domain or you use one you already have such as dietforme.com and then add both sites to your hosting account uh, you should know how to do this I'm, I'm not gonna walk you through it because it's something everybody should know if you ever use cPanel you know you can easily add on more domains and um, that's all you do is you add in the .us.com domain and you add in your branded domain and you're done. And what you're going to do on the .us.com site, you're going to upload the PHP script that I have included. Uh, the PHP script is a basic 301 redirect. That's all it does. That's all you need it to do. 
and I'm I'm sure most of you have done 301 redirects before if you've ever moved a website you can do it in HT access also or through cPanel cPanel can also create uh, redirects for you but it's much easier with just that PHP script because you just upload it and you're done you don't have to modify anything or you know mess around with cPanel and then you're gonna build the WordPress site on your brand domain um, this is pretty obvious uh, if you want you're going to build the website on the domain that you want to rank and you want to rank the branded domain uh, you can go ahead and just rank the keyword.us.com site but like I said it um, ex exposes the method and it exposes you to, to the competition so not a good idea and then finally you're going to build links to your us.com 301 redirect and you build all the links to the home page still staying on the home page and all the links are going to funnel from the .us.com site Bing is going to pick that up and it's going to see wow this is a trusted domain it's uh, a subdomain actually and so now we're going to pass all that trust all that age and all that credibility over to your new domain and that's how you're going to rank and the PHP script itself it's very simple um, there it is you've probably seen this before it's just a basic PHP 301 redirect and that's all you need um, you can do this through cPanel and you can do it through HT access uh, but the PHP script is very easy um, so I'd recommend using that and that's about it I mean this it, it's a typical 301 redirect if you've ever moved a WordPress website or a domain then you know how to use a 301 redirect if you need more help on this feel free to contact me and I'll I'll explain it in detail but I think I think you guys know what that is I don't think I need to you know walk you through through uh, the entire process because that would take you know 20 30 minutes and that's a pretty big waste of time for something you already know how to do but if you have any questions about it please contact me and I'll explain it and I'll help it